All right, so let's go ahead and answer this 1989 FRQ question three from the cal calculus AP test. And it says a particle moves along the x-axis in such a way that its acceleration at time t, for t is greater than or equal to zero, is given by a of t equals four cosine of two t. And at time t equals zero, the velocity of this particle is v of zero equals one, and its position is x of zero equals zero. So, the first thing that we can do before answering the parts of the question is write its acceleration, which is given in the problem by a of t equals four cosine of two t. And now we can go ahead and take a look at part a, which says, write an equation for the velocity v of t of the particle. So we are going to be looking for v of t. And for this, since we were given the acceleration, if we take the integral of the acceleration, we're given the first derivative, which is the velocity. So we can go ahead and integrate our acceleration, which is 4 cosine of 2t, with respect to t. And then here we can use u substitution for this. We know that the u in this is going to be inside the parentheses, which is 2t du is 2 with respect to t. And we can see that what's left is 4 dt instead of 2 dt. So we are going to multiply du by 2. And then we'll multiply both sides by 2. And now 2 du equals 4 dt. And we can go ahead and plug in with respect to u. It's going to be cosine of u du, du is there, and this coefficient we can go ahead and drag it to the front. So we're going to do 2 in there. We know that the integral of cosine is going to be sine, so sine of u, and then go ahead and don't forget about the coefficient, plus c, you can never uh, forget the plus c, and we know that this is going to be our template for our v of t but we don't know the c, so to do that, we're gonna to have to solve for the c. And in the problem, it says that uh, the v of zero for t equals zero, the velocity is going to be one, so we can go ahead and write v of zero equals one. We're gonna do one equals, we're gonna use this template here. We have to plug back in u though, so we're gonna do two sine 2t plus c. We're just going to plug in 0 to our value of t. So 2 sine of 2 times 0 plus c. Then we know 2 times 0 equals 0, so it's just going to be sine of 0 plus c equals 1. Sine of 0, we know sine of 0 equals zero. So further simplify equals one. Two times zero, anything times zero equals zero. So it's gonna be zero plus c equals one. And ultimately we know that z equals or c equals one. We can go ahead and plug c, our value of c, back into this uh, template function that we had up here for v of t. And we can go to answer part A. So that's going to be 2 sine of 2t plus the value of c down here is 1. So that's going to be plus 1. And that's how you answer part A of this problem. So let's go to move on to part B. For that, it's saying write an equation for the position x of t of the particle. So the, posi the position function we're going to have to integrate the v of t. So we just solved for v of t. We can go ahead and write that down before doing anything else. 2 sine of 2t plus 1. To find the position, we're going to have to integrate this. Let's go ahead and do that. Integral 2 sine of 2t plus 1. and 
we can go ahead and use u substitution for this left part of the function. Obviously, the u is going to be inside the parentheses. u equals 2t. Derivative of that is 2 dt with respect to t. And we can see that its coefficient and the dt are the same. So we can go ahead and write this sine. We can do u substitution sine of u du because this side is with respect to u. Then we're going to do plus 1 dt. And then if we go ahead and integrate this, we know that the integral of sine is going to be negative cosine. Don't forget the u. And then the derivative of 1, or not the derivative, the antiderivative of 1 with respect to t is going to be t. And then you're going to have to do the plus c. And now we can plug in our u back into this template. Do that over here. Negative cosine. Our u is 2t plus t plus c. So this is our x of t template the position of the particle function, but we need to solve for c. So to do that, the problem gave us when t is 0, its position is 0. So we can go ahead and do 0 equals. We're going to use this template, but we're going to plug 0 into all of the t. So it's going to be negative cosine 2 times 0 plus 0, and then plus c. We're going to solve for c. Let's go ahead and further simplify this. We know that cosine, well, 2 times 0 is 0. And then we know cosine of 0 equals, cosine of 0 equals 1. So we're going to do negative 1 plus 0 plus c further and even further we'll find that c equals 1 so we know our value of c and to write the x of t we're just gonna plug c back into our template up here so we know x of t equals negative cosine 2t plus t, and then plus our value of c, which is 1. And that's how you write the function for the position of the particle, part b. And now if we move on to part c, part c is saying for what values of t, when t is between 0 and pi, is the particle at rest. So for this, we're looking for the particle at rest when t is between 0 and pi. OK, so the particle is at rest when the velocity is equal to 0. So we can go ahead and write that too so we don't forget. Velocity equals 0. So we solved for the, the velocity function in part a. And we can go ahead and write that. We have, if we remember correctly, it is v of t equals 2 sine of 2t plus 1. So we know that the particle is at rest when velocity is equal to 0. So we can go ahead and equate this function to 0 and isolate the variable of t. And subtract 1 from both sides of 2t. And now to isolate the sine, just divide by 2 on both sides. And we have negative 1 half equals sine of 2t. So we're going to have to find what 2t is and then we're gonna divide those by two and we're gonna find t. So we know that 
um, sine is at negative one half for the values of seven pi over six and eleven pi over six. And just for reminders, we're gonna go ahead and do this xy plane. Sine is our y value in the xy pair. So negative one half is there. Then if you do your unit circle, we know that this value and this value are seven pi over six. This is zero and two pi. This is pi. So seven pi over six and 11 pi over 6. So we know that these two values are the 2t for here. And then we're just going to divide both sides by 2. Just multiply by 1 half on this side. And we know that t is going to equal two values, which are 7 pi over 12 and 11 pi over 12 multiplying that there to get 12. And that's how you know the particle is at rest. And we just completed the 1989 question 3 part of the AP test.